All right, just another quick video exposing Steve Anderson's new IFB cult. Uh, I've shown Sam get before. I've said before, I don't totally agree with him on everything, but he has done a lot of good stuff exposing Anderson. And this particular clip I'm going to show, this is from the uh, Reason Files channel, their interview with Sam Gipp. And uh, he, you know, Sam Gipp does a pretty good job of pretty much defining the difference between Stephen Anderson's new IFB cult and traditional Baptist churches. You know, what they would call the old IFB uh, over in Anderson's new IFB cult. But just showing the fact that they have very little difference. The biggest difference, I would argue, is the fact that Anderson's new IFB cult favors this Catholic-style theocracy. Okay? Traditional Baptists have always been distinct by supporting the biblical concepts of church-state separation, of, you know, separation of religion and state. Plain and simple, but the new IFB is just one of the many ways that I, I like to call them uh, binos, you know, binos, essentially Baptist in name only. That's Steve Anderson's new IFB cult. But here's the clip. Well, what's called the old IFB is basically independent, uh, they call it independent fundamental Baptist churches. Uh, they believe the same as far as Baptist doctrine. Um, unlike something like the Southern Baptist or American Baptist, it's not a denomination, they are independent, which means. The highest authority uh, is the pastor of each local church. Uh, each church makes its own decision. If somebody didn't like it, well, it's, you know, you make yours and they'll make theirs. Uh, the new IFB, the I doesn't belong there. I call it the new FIB, as new, a new FIB, because uh, it's a lie. There's uh, no independence whatsoever. It is a cult. Um, the, the puppet pastors are more afraid of offending Stephen Anderson than they are of offending God. And uh, he wrote it. I mean, it's, they have to uh, they have to please him. I don't think any of them would have the courage to have a speaker in that he didn't that he disapproved of. And so it's not independent at all. Uh, they also are mid tribulation rapture, which is wrong. But that just means they'll be surprised when they miss uh, the whole thing. Uh, but they're very much into the um, the uh, replacement theology, which is. They, they think they're a replacement for Israel. They uh, negate the entire, every reference in the Old Testament that God is going to restore Israel. They, uh, they, they just reject the Bible, basically. And they really hate the Jews. Uh, you talk to them. They, they hate the Jews. I've never found anybody that took this Reformation or this, uh, this restoration theology. I never met anybody that ever said, I think I'm the replacement for the Jews. But I hope the people over there in Palestine, the people who call themselves Jews now, get saved. It's like they almost take a, a Nazi-type uh, stand. It, enough bad can't happen to them. Uh, Anderson himself walks around with a, a shirt with a Palestinian flag saying, Free Palestine. And uh, there's a real deep-seated hatred for God's people, the Jews. You know, I've kind of harped on this before, but the thing about Anderson's little new IFB cult is that they are nowhere without the internet. And you're supposed to have a pastor in 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1 to 7, and Titus chapter 1, verse 5 to 9, who meets qualifications. You know, the minister you you know in person, like in Acts 13, verse 1 to 3. And Anderson's little internet cult, the new IFB, is just that. They're, they have no power without their electricity, electricity going into their internet routers. And they have no real power because, well, aside from being totally alien to traditional Baptist uh, beliefs and doctrine, they are going around and trying to convert others to their doctrine because they know, essentially I think they really know that they're not, you know, they're not going to get anywhere by, because there's all kinds of infighting going on within the group. So they have to obviously convert others to their organization. I was in the new IFB for about 2017 to about like early 2019 as when I left. And I can confirm it definitely is a cult plain and simple. And these guys see they're professional with the internet. Because instead of having any power from God like traditional Baptist churches, they have to go through the internet and cause a, a ruckus. They, there's a Baptist church here in Canada, not far from uh, where I live actually, that was you know infiltrated by some of Anderson's goons and given, given the fits over the internet. That's the truth of the matter. That's why I expose this cult, because the media comes out and tries to paint them out as Bible believers. They're like the new Westboro, you know, the Westboro psyop that it was. You know, that's why I stay on. It's really to show that no, you know, actual Bible believers have been exposing these guys for quite a while. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.